Do you know who Timothy Sykes is? Well, if not, then let me give you a brief intro. Timothy Sykes is a well-known figure in the world of penny stocks. He turned $12,415 into over $4 million by trading penny stocks while he was still studying in university. I'm not exaggerating anything, look at the headlines yourself. So what are penny stocks? And how can someone select a potential game changer penny stock that can provide handsome returns? What is the difference between penny stocks and small cap stocks? Well, penny stocks refer to low price stocks typically trading for less than $5 per share, often associated with small, lesser known companies that have huge business potential. Whereas small cap stocks generally refer to companies with market capitalizations ranging from $300 million to $2 billion, and share price can be lower or higher than $5. In this video, we're going to take a deep dive into the investment case for these stocks. We will discuss two penny stocks and two small cap stocks selected on the basis of rigorous research. Now before we get too carried away, let's get real here. These stocks come with a twist of risk. It's like that saying, high risk, high reward. We'll stress the importance of doing your homework, conducting thorough research, and making informed decisions instead of buying the hype or manipulated stocks. First on our list is BitFarms LTD, ticker symbol BitF. BitFarms is a cryptocurrency mining company with operations in Canada, the United States, Paraguay, and Argentina. The company's primary focus is on validating transactions on the Bitcoin blockchain and earning cryptocurrency through block rewards and transaction fees. Recently, there's been a trend among cryptocurrency miners to diversify into the artificial intelligence market as a strategy to offset the lower margins resulting from the significant drop in Bit farm prices. Bitcoin's trading near one, but they have the potential to triple from current levels if the Bitcoin price just moves to its last highs. And if Bitcoin moves to 100k on the next halving, scheduled for May 2024, well, BitFarms can easily 10x from current levels. Every major investor has a positive outlook for the future of Bitcoin. For example, listen to Kathy Wood. And we have in big ideas, again, our uh, forecast for 2027, I think, is um, 600, around 650,000. And beyond that 1.5 million. This say, is say that again. <laughs> In the big ideas research that you guys published, what are the uh, two numbers? The two numbers uh, are we have our base case is roughly 650,000 for 2027. Now that has come down. We were using a million plus four or five years out. But because we've had the, the debacles associated with centralized, opaque institutions, as opposed to decentralized and transparent, um, institutions are, are going to hold back a little bit. Uh, but we still think uh, that the, the million plus is right um, in our bull case. Mm -hmm. And you can see how we build our case and, and look at the assumptions, how much institutional involvement and so forth. Very conservative assumptions. Rising Bitcoin prices are positive for miners. As the price of Bitcoin rises, the value of the coins that miners receive as rewards for validating transactions also increases. This means that for the same amount of computational work, miners earn more in terms of traditional currency. BitFarms is a major player with a strategic game plan that's turning heads. Over the past year, they've been slashing debt and expenses, setting the stage for a triumphant future. What's their secret sauce, you may ask? It's a three-part recipe. First up, they've pumped up their mining prowess with new low-energy miners. Think of it like turbocharging a car. They're maximizing their new low-cost electricity supply to the hilt. BitFarms is all about efficiency, and their recent energy use of 39 joules per terahash is set to drop by a whopping 23% to 30 joules per terahash when those new miners go live. Fewer joules mean lower costs, and that's music to any investor's ears. Wall Street analysts currently rate BitFarms as a strong buy with a rating of 4.5 out of 5. This suggests a positive sentiment among analysts regarding the stock's potential. BitFarms maintains a robust balance sheet. It holds $31 million in cash and approximately $17 million worth of Bitcoin in its treasury, providing a combined liquidity of around $48 million. This financial position comfortably offsets the $31.7 million in debt recorded at the end of Q2. 
Additionally, the company exhibits a relatively high operating cash flow, totaling $36.3 million. Bitfarms is undervalued in comparison to peers in the IT industry, with a trailing price to cash flow of 7x. Second on our list is Mama's Creations, ticker symbol MAMA. Currently trading near 4, Mama's Creations is a small yet promising company with a recipe for growth. These culinary innovators have taken traditional family Italian recipes and transformed them into conveniently available pre-cooked meals found in supermarkets across the United States. But there's more simmering beneath the surface. Mama's Creations isn't just about convenience, it's about steady growth. Over the past four years, their revenue has surged with double-digit momentum, increasing from $9 million in fiscal year 14 to an impressive $93 million in fiscal year 23. And the feast isn't over. Projections place them at a revenue of $102 million for fiscal year 24, showcasing a robust 9.5% year-on-year growth. Their earnings are on a similar upward trajectory, with a forecasted EPS of $0.16 cents per share for fiscal year 24, translating to a staggering 166% earnings growth. Behind the scenes, Mama's Creations has mastered the art of efficiency. By investing in a spiral oven, they've sliced costs and upped productivity, while lower beef and chicken prices in fiscal year 24 compared to the previous year further bolster their margin strategy. The company's gross profit soared by 65% to $6.4 million in Q1, and they're eyeing a 30% increase in gross margins going forward. Now what sets Mama's apart? They're capitalizing on a shift in consumer behavior. People are eating out less and opting for the convenience of grocery store prepared foods. This aligns perfectly with their offerings of restaurant quality meals at affordable prices. The recent trend in eating more meals at home aligns with Mama's Creations ethos, providing solutions that are equally delicious and time-saving. Mama's Creations isn't just a food company, it's a growth story in motion. Their knack for blending tradition with innovation, coupled with astute financial management, positions them as a strong contender for long-term growth. As the company expands its offerings and explores new horizons, keep an eye out for their ascent. At number three, let's take a look at Limbach Holdings, a small cap stock with a stock price of $32 and a market cap of $350 million. Their recent quarterly report paints a captivating picture. A drop in the net realizable value of contract assets and liabilities suggests more efficient revenue generation, while steady billing metrics hint at a well-balanced operation. Limbox stock has been on a journey, climbing from a historical low to new heights, and its current price patterns whisper about potential future growth. Let's start by dissecting Limbox financial landscape. As of Q2 2023, the net realizable value of contracted assets and liabilities dropped to $19.8 million from $28.5 million in 2022's end. This dip signifies streamlined revenue realization or claim settlement, with expectations of resolving most assets and liabilities soon, barring potential legal hurdles. The billing metrics march to a stable rhythm, with billings over costs and estimated earnings forming the foundation of Limbach's financial structure. Limbach stock isn't just rising, it's ascending with purpose. Its steady upward trajectory from a historical low of $4.90 in June of 2022 signals optimism. A bullish, inverted head and shoulders pattern speaks volumes, suggesting further gains on the horizon. The story of Limbach's climb includes strategic maneuvering during the pandemic and a focus on essential services, captivating investors seeking stability amidst market volatility. Their consistent growth story, combined with strategic partnerships and industry shifts, has created a bullish tapestry. Looking ahead, Limbach's future seems woven with potential. With a history of managing contract assets wisely and embracing calculated risks, the company has positioned itself for financial stability. So the last stock on our list is Bell Fuse. Bell Fuse is rated strong buy from all analysts and holds B-plus and A-plus grades on all matrices. In dissecting their Q2 2023 performance, we uncover a tale of financial nuances and operational prowess. 
Amidst a landscape of fluctuating figures, Bell Fuse's performance showcases both commendable growth and areas warranting attention, prompting our buy rating and a price target of 65 bucks. Delving into the financial canvas, Q2 2023 witnessed a slight sales decline from $171 million to $169 million compared to the same period in 2022. But don't be swayed. The silver lining gleams in the form of improved gross margins, rising from 26.6% to 32.9% year over year. This upward shift could signify a strategic product mix or enhanced cost management. This impressive feat is the seventh consecutive quarter of improved margins, even amid sales ebbs, showcasing Bellfuse's adept operational management. The three segments of Bellfuse each paint a distinct financial picture. The power solutions and protection segment commands the spotlight with a staggering 23% growth in sales, reaching $87.1 million. This uptick can be attributed to robust demand in the networking end market, particularly in power conversion for data centers, electric vehicles, and cryptocurrency mining. Following closely, the Connectivity Solutions Group tallied $54.8 million in sales, marking a 19% increase. Their gross margins also soared from 27.6% in Q2 2022 to a striking 37.4% in Q2 2023. With a focus on the aerospace and military end market, this growth is attributed to both efficiency enhancements and contract renewals. However, the Magnetic Solutions Group faced headwinds, grappling with a 50% sales decrease to $26.8 million, coupled with a dip in gross margin from 28.2% to 24.6%. Now, while this segment presents challenges, the opening of a new factory holds the promise of revitalizing margins and rekindling growth. The underlying theme is operational excellence. Bell Fuse's strides in consolidating operations in China and across the connectivity group have amplified gross margins, reducing duplicate costs, and heightening inventory turnover. Their smart inventory management saw a $13.4 million decrease, revving up inventory turnover from 2.6 to 2.9 times. Bell Fuse's prudent debt management deserves applause. By trimming the variable rate portion of their outstanding debt and engaging in swap agreements, the company maneuvered their outstanding debt to a manageable $60 million, fortified against interest rate fluctuations. Their divestments of non-core assets and the shift to a new hub showcase fiscal acumen. With management's optimistic outlook projecting Q3 2023 sales between $157 million to $165 million, Bellfuse's narrative continues to intrigue. And just like that, our video comes to an end. These are four stocks that I urge you to keep an eye on in the future. Make sure to leave your thoughts about this video in the comments down below, and we'll catch you in the next one.